Hey guys, Trevor here from LoomCube to walk you through how to use the new LoomCube app, the one-stop shop to fully control and operate your LoomCube lights. Let's get into it. Once you download the app, click on the Bluetooth pairing option. Here you'll see two sections. One is the paired devices. If you just downloaded the app, odds are you won't have any, any devices in there yet. And the second section is ready to pair. Once your Bluetooth is turned on, your devices will pop up in this section. If you're using one of our older lights, say the original LoomCube, the LoomCube 2.0, or the LoomCube Air, as long as the light is on, they will pop up in that ready to pair section. However, if you're using the Panel Pro, a different set of instructions apply. To activate the Bluetooth on your Panel Pro, while your light is off, hold on the power button for eight seconds. After eight seconds, a little Bluetooth icon will pop up on the back screen of your Panel Pro. That's how you know the Bluetooth is on. Then go over to the app and you will see under the ready to pair section, you will see your Panel Pro. Input the relevant information and press OK. Once you are connected, your Panel Pro will flash three times. Once your Panel Pro is paired, it should bump up to the paired devices section. Push on the launch light controls button on bottom. You will see top right, there's an all on or all off button. This will simply turn all of your lights on or all of your lights off at your desired setting. You will also see a small blue light on the line of your actual Panel Pro. This will quickly turn it off and on as well. However, if you wanna get into the advanced controls, push on the plus sign on the left of the Panel Pro name. First, you will see a brightness slider. This is where you can control your brightness from 1% up to 100%. Next is color temperature where you can adjust from 3000 Kelvin up all the way up to 5700 Kelvin. Then we have our strobe settings. If you press on on the strobe section, you can choose between one Hertz and 10 Hertz of strobe speed. So from the slowest strobe, one Hertz, all the way up to 10 Hertz strobe. And keep in mind, you can combine the strobe with different colors. You set the color and then you turn the strobe on. Below the strobe section is the color section. On the left is a color wheel where you can drag your finger around the color wheel to quickly choose between the, any of the 360 colors that we have to offer. Or for faster adjustments, you'll see your favorite colors on the right hand side. If you wanna change one of your favorite colors, simply hold down on one of the squares and up will pop a new screen where you can drag your finger around and select the color that you're going for. Once you find the color that you'd like, you'll simply hold down to replace one of those squares on bottom. So you'll hold down on one of the squares, the color will now populate in that square. You can X out of the screen, and now when you return, your favorite color will be saved in the color section of the app. Then on very bottom, we have our lighting effects. This is where you can choose between cop lights, lightning effects, fireplaces, or anything else that lives inside this section. You simply push on each lighting effect, and they will change like so. Thank you for watching. We hope that helps you get a better understanding of how to use the LoomCube app. If you have any further questions, please reach out to support at loomcube.com and we will be happy to help you out.